Everybody, welcome back. We're doing a another. Oh wow, that was fast. We're doing a Frank picks mag, a, a Twitch plays magic draft here with the Legacy Cube. It's a stipulation by Danny DB, and <clears throat> so I'm gonna. And whenever we're done, uh, I'm gonna say stop. Or actually, I'm just gonna say next pick. I'm gonna say pick two. Uh, next pick. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna read the first. So cat is Burmaz. Stormcrow doesn't exist in this pack. Snake, Teferi, Time Warp. Okay, Time Warp would be the fourth. The fourth legitimate pick. And then I'm going to say next pick. That means stop. And then when the next pack comes up, you get to do it again. Okay. All right. So the fourth thing, the fourth card I see after it says next pick, that's what we're, that's what we're taking. Oh, boy. So no one wants to be the first one, but like, <laughs> Terramega. <laughs> Brad, I hate you. <laughs> Feels like a jit and, jit and thief, and you're like, take that salamander, Drake. Okay, okay. Wow. That's unbelievable to me. <sighs> Oust, Rift, Sword. Okay, Sword. Ooh, we did it. Ooh, we did it. There's a bunch of swords there. Alright, sweet. I actually love this sword, so that's good. Okay. <clears throat> if you see next pick in the chat, stop naming the previous pick. You have guess I'm you guys haven't great about it, I'm just just to clarify. It should be the fourth unit. That's a little hard, though. Alright, uh, okay, Sun doesn't count, that was not for this pack, uh, fair, come on, okay, after come on drafters, we're gonna, those are the, that's when, that's when we're starting here, Triumph, I don't even know what that is, oh, Lily has Triumph, Char, Library, Skyship, okay, Skyship it is, the Skyship it is, Fat Boat, Oh, we did it. Okay. There we go. Next pick. Bam! Terraman is going to win you a game. I can feel it. God, I hope so. We're going to time warp, and then we're going to exile our time warp to... Well, not exile, but it's going to help this guy evolve. Adapt? Evolve? Whatever. Tango wire. Mike B. Mike B is not in this pack, I don't think. Wire, wire. Tango wire. Canopy. Canopy. That's interesting. But I'll be honest with you. I like it better than Tango wire. Tango wire, wire, Tango wire, Canopy. Yeah, that works for me. And bro, with these these Terramander into into Horizon Canopy, Jesus, oh God. Nobody should ever pick anything over Tango Wild. What? Get out of here. The Vian saying that to be good. Oh, God. He's like, hey, man. Take that Terramander. Oh, but I don't... Okay. Oh, it definitely doesn't have to be good. That's one of the best parts about the stipulation is just making a deck out of nothing. I don't know what Shazbot is. Is that a thing? Elspeth Slime, Elspeth... Brightling. I like a Brightling. All right. I'm in. (sighs) 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is actually a good one. I hope you guys I hope you guys don't fuck up. Oh, I hope you guys do right. Denser worm coil coil. Yes! Brett's redeeming himself with this worm coil pick. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. I would have said Venser Vanishing Light as well. Those are also good picks. This is a that was a spicy pack. Terramander into Worm Coil. Solid. Okay, so we got Worm, Hee Haw, Fumarole, Basalt. Ooh, Basalt is good. I'm game for a Basalt Monolith. I don't think Sexy Mustache is actually a pick, right? <laughs> is that from the last pack? <laughs> you guys can't... Don't use nicknames. I'm just going to go by the actual card names. Hee Haw is obvious. That's super apparent to me. But if I don't get the nickname, I can't actually take it. So we had Worm, and then Hee Haw's Worm, and then Fumarole, and then Basalt was the fourth, so... Does he have a sexy mustache, though? Brim has Legionnaire Cat. Brim. Okay, mono brims. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh alright. Okay, I'm liking it. Some good options in here. You guys are going to have to go a little quicker. Solemn. Robo. Sadbot. Thrun. Interesting. Thrun was the fourth, right? Solemn. Robobo. I assume that's this guy. And then Sadbot and then Thrun. And then Mike's dad was the next pick after that. So. <laughs> Fucking Mike's dad. Come on. Just stop it. You are fourth Thrunbot? I have Solemn, Robo, Sadbot, Thrun. That's not... Yeah, it, may, it might look different to you. <clears throat> uh, Soren. Avenger, Soren, Soren. You guys are saying Soren. Alright, that's weird, but... I don't know. Whatever. Ooh, alright, next pick. This is, this is going to be a close one, I think. Library. Library. Sullivan. This library should also not be this late. Let's be clear. Boom. Okay, I'm going to highlight the ooze because out of the, these three cards... So we got Swifty, Tithe, Ooze, Tithe. Oh, you said Tithe? You you biscuits. Wait, Swifty's in the previous. Tithe, Ooze, Tithe, Ooze. Yes, so it was Ooze there. Swifty does not count. Tithe counts, Ooze counts, Tithe counts, Ooze counts. Okay. Right here, we're just going to take Smiting Helix. I don't... doesn't matter. These last two are, are probably unpickable, so... Ooh, Shambling Vent with a Solemn, with a Soren. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this is... It gets real intense toward the end. Emrakul, Vent, Hex Drinker, Tracker. Tireless Tracker it is. Tireless Tracker it is. So it's interesting because, like, you know, even if you, there's no real incentive to wait for it to be, like, I'm going to be the fourth person to say something. Because, A, someone could just snipe you. And, B, like, people could also just sneak things in before yours gets through. So yours could end up being the fourth. Or they could show up to me in a different order. So there's lots of different reasons why, like... Just throwing those answers out there is good. Oh, God. Come on, don't mess it up, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Geist. Mantax Tromp. Damnation. You. You. Geist. Okay. I gotta make sure these are real. Lantax. That's real. Trop. Damnation. Case. Oh, God. Case, listen. Listen, Case. I'm just going to put that over here for now. You can't veto. There's no vetoes. Man, let me tell you how good. Emrakul, spaghetti, Emrakul, natural order. Okay, natural order I can get behind. I guess. I mean, it's a strong card. I have no idea what this deck is doing, but Tropical Island would have been very good for it. Let's put it that way. Smoke it. Oh 
Marari. Podman. Uh, Confluence Colonnade. I like Colonnade. I like it. I don't even know what Confluence... Oh, Mystic Confluence. That's good. I'm going to take the Colonnade because it's the third pick. <clears throat> so on my screen, I have... Someone said Archmage, Mike's uncle's brother. <laughs> Missed out on two Emrakuls. Marari, which would be Marari's Wake. Podman, which would be Vanifar. Uh, Confluence. And then Colonnade. Yep. All right. So... Let's do it. Mike's it's Mike it's Mike's uncle's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. You guys haven't heard of him though. He doesn't go to school here. He's from Canada. We got Deep Forest, Agent, Night of Autumn, Bells and Lock. Bells and lock. Brett, you're messing it up again, buddy. You're messing it up. You're ruining everything. Scrub. Hornet Queen. Gideon. Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen it is. Hornet Queen it is. Scrubland would also be good, especially because I have no idea what this deck is trying to do. <laughs> okay, well, let's... Misty. Misty. Reveler Misty. Yes! Yes! Thank you, chat. Thank you for not making me take Bedlam Reveler. Because Case is a literal monster. Oh, thank God. You guys did it. It was so close. <laughs> Bedlam Reveler. Oh, God. Temple Garden, Temple, Temple, Gids. Gideon? Alright, I can do Gids. I would have liked that Temple Garden. If one of you guys could have been a little faster or a little slower there, I would have appreciated it, but Gideon it is. I think Gids is playable. I think we're looking at Abzan rather than uh, Blue. <clears throat> that being the case, we could still be banned. We have a couple of black sideboard cards, which is nice. Tithe, Tithe, Augur, Messenger. Messenger? Oh, Giralf's Messenger? You friggin' monsters. Tie Tigger, Tie Tigger, Augur, God dang it. Triple black card, really? Couldn't get the Tie Tigger. Couldn't get a nice solid two drop for our for our deck. You gotta. <sighs> tax, Reaper, Tax, Entreat. <laughs> this is the worst you guys have ever been. I feel like you guys are my children and you're all doing just terribly. I feel like you're just misbehaving today. I'm really, I'm really disappointed by all of you. Wow, that is a late Emrakul. Okay, uh, Francis and Blurry, no. Emmy, Hissing Quagmire, Emra, Mom. Okay, um, no, that's not even in here. It's gotta be Emrakul. All right, there's no Mother of Runes. That was the last pick. Unless Emrakul is Mom, in which case, it all wins. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Languish, Prime Seeker, Gary, Podman. Okay, we'll take the Podman, even though this is the most ridiculous Podman deck I've ever seen. Wow, there's Gary and Gary surrounding the Podman. Oh god, I'm gonna highlight this because I think I think I think the last three picks are fine if I just get them because the timing is rough. <clears throat> night, night, shardless, shardless. Okay, I actually saw the shardless. So I will take that. And now I'm just going to take you tomorrow. And Nunes Pro. Okay. Jesus. You guys are monsters. You guys are legit monsters. Like. Karn, Dark Slick, Karn, Sheldock. I do like Sheldock. That's a good. That's a solid pick. Although I don't know why we're blue. I don't know why we're black either. I don't know what's going on with this deck, I'll be honest with you guys. <clears throat> So when Karn, Dark Slick, Karn, Sheldock. Yep, Sheldock is the fourth. Hey, I tried to get you some Vic. Did you? Did you, though? Did you? 
All right, what do we got here? Uh, Bayou, Mull, Vivian Reed, Vraska. There ain't even a Vraska in this pack. What's wrong with you? Opposition? So Opposition will be the fourth then, right? We got Muldrifter, Vivian Reed, Vivian Reed, Opposition. What the hell? Oh, you meant Vivian Reed. Okay, so we have Vivian Reed, Vivian Reed, Vivian Reed, Opposition. So same thing. Oh, Mull, Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. So Vivian would be the pick then, which I actually like a lot better. <clears throat> so it's Mull, Viv, Viv, Viv. No, I'm getting confused. I'm sorry. Okay, please scroll normally. Mull, Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. Yeah, Vivian is the fourth pick. Okay. Bayou was first. Bayou, Mull, Vivian, Vivian. Yeah, okay. So it would be the Vraska. Right, same thing. That's what I meant. It's getting confusing, guys. I'm sorry. Also, the chat does this weird thing when you scroll up that it just it kind of snaps back down, even though it's a really obnoxious. Ewit, Abrupt, Sun, Living Death. Living Death? You guys have to be quicker. You guys have to knock Case out of this. This is not this is not reasonable. He's being he's just being ridiculous. <laughs> this is not okay. I'm putting all the black cards over here because I have no idea what we're gonna do with them, but it's very possible we could just play them. Because they're decent, but we have to figure out what's going on. Natural order seems terrible. Oracle, Tristani, Oracle, Tristani. Okay, Tristani it is. Oracle would have been good though. Oracle, Oracle, yep. Landing? Legion's landing, Brett? You're a traitor. Look at this. We got this Terramander in the deck over here. It's honestly past the... Yeah, it is. No, it's still funny. I'm still having a good time. This is still hilarious. I want to take Tristani. Guys, do the right thing. It can be really big. How many instants or sorceries you got in your deck? Uh, I think one. I think we're looking at one. Uh, Shieldred, Iona, Catacombs, Titan. Please don't be correct. Uh, okay, hold on. Iona, Image, Elspeth, Verdant. Oh, wow, that's great. I misread. Barry Nerd says Iona. White Man Project says Image. Hey Tony says Elspeth. Kiyuki then says Verdant. Case, I'm so proud of you. This one moment in time. You did it. I was so terrified I would have to take Titan there. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You redeemed yourself. From living death <laughs> and damnation. Okay, we got sword, tribelder, sword, cavalier. I knew you were gonna say cavalier, this triple black scumbag. Oh my god, why? But there's a tribe elder right in the pack. Is this correct? I have to make sure. Sword, tribe, sword, cavalier. Yep, that's correct. Okay. It's very hard. This is very hard. Emotionally, this is a very trying stipulation. Hoof, Kalidus, Baloth, Hoof. All right, so we're hoofing it. Now we have a natural order target, at least. I mean, we don't have many... We have one creature to sacrifice to the natural order. But, you know, it's still a natural order, I guess. I feel like we're cutting the, the blue cards and just playing Abzan. Wall, 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 wall. Wow, that was a lot of walls. Holy smokes. You guys were in unison there. That was great. Wall is also great because of... Uh, uh, natural order. So. Alright, so after Souls... Is it Souls Wall? Dark Slick Warden Overgrown Wall. Yes! I was really hoping you guys would say Wall again. I'm really proud of you. I don't think we're playing blue, so I'm glad we didn't get Dark Slick Shores. But we had literally... Uh, we had Dark Slick Warden Overgrown Wall. So, Wall again. Okay. Uh, where's Hinterland, Grove, opposite Hinterland. We're not playing blue. Why do you guys want the Hinterland Harbor? Why wouldn't you say Sun Petal Grove when I just got done saying we're probably Abzan? I don't understand you people. You're going to take Hinterland Harbor or we're probably not playing blue? Okay, makes sense. Solid. I 
I guess that's fine. Oh, thank God, you guys are saviors. Jesus. Maybe we're soul tie. Maybe we're cutting the white, actually. Alright, I'm just gonna say next pick here. Harmonize, spear, harmonize, harmonize. Yes. Excellent. Alright. Take it easy. Hmm. Wow, two of you said Iona? Really? Really? Shielded, shielded, Iona, Iona. So I'm taking this stupid Iona. I hate you all. It's not gonna matter. This is not gonna... Cord, Shielded Hunter... Doesn't matter. Alright, and Revel Arc. Wow. Actually, Revel Arc's decent. We got Muldrift... Not Muldrifter, uh, Tristani. We got Prime... Is it Power, right? <sighs> this deck, dude. Wow, this deck. I don't even know. Let's sort by. I feel like this is a sealed pool. Okay, Ayana, you're not playable. I don't want the double blue, the double white cards, I don't think. Our, our land favors Bant, kind of. Revelar gets Tristani, it gets Prime Speaker. Gets a turn of witness, tart no, it doesn't it gets either one of the walls scavenging you. It's actually pretty decent here. Wish I had a way to to make this work. We could court of calling for eighteen and hit Emrakul. That's an option. Wait, why is that the stip? Did I not Oh, that's why. I said add calm, not calm. There we go. I had the wrong stip. I'm sorry, guys. Not like it matters, but... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Bjorn, wrong stip, buddy. I just updated it, so... Oh, man. Okay. Triple black for this guy? Good lord. Driving from Colorado to Georgia? That's a heck of a drive, dude. Dane, drive safe, buddy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully our our witty commentary can keep you occupied. This is twenty four cards. I have to take the Terramander out, right? Brad, I'm so sorry, buddy. We could pot into Cavalier, but what are we sacrificing? Literally just Thrun. <laughs> this is our first pick too. Oh, poor little guy. He never knew. Uh... You're my only Discord sub? What does that mean? Is that good? I like that you are. Dimitri, have a good afternoon, buddy. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. If we cut this, our only black is Soren, right? And that's pretty easy on the mana base. And our only white is Soren and Tristani. I like Revelark here. I think Revelark is good. Oh, Patriot, that's awesome, dude. I really appreciate it. Bjorn, you're my favorite, buddy. Also, we have two fetch lands, right? We have a Misty and a Verdant for our Tireless Tracker, which is pretty good. Is this, is this our... Can this be our deck? I don't think any of these are great. If this was a tooth and nail, like that'd be great because then we can play the Emrakul and the. Actually, I don't like Court of Calling. We can probably put something else instead of Court of Calling. Dude, it is totally. It's totally hard to keep track. There's so many like social media like 
I mean, we probably could play Gideon. We have Soren though, like which I think is also actually I don't even like this Soren to be honest with you. I think this is the crap Soren. This is like the worst Soren. Have we made you proud of us? Uh, 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 you know, sure. Entreat seems pretty rough. We're never gonna hard cast it, and we actually can pot away Gideon, make it a creature, and then pot it away. Also, Prime Speaker does not seem great here. We have like one five drop to pot into like. Worm coil. Worm coil can pot into this. Actually, maybe that's not terrible. Also, Sword of Fire and Ice is decent. Maybe we just play the Terramander. That'd be hilarious. Soren is our only black card. But we also have Verdant. I guess we don't have any black lands except for Shambling, right? There is a subscriber Discord. Hardest of Core, if you guys uh, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, uh, the subscriber Discord is actually pretty sweet. There's a ton of action in there I would definitely check it out if I were you guys maybe we cut the Soren for the Gideon and then we just can avoid black altogether which is fine and then we can play the Terramander as like our I think that's actually fine this one's for you Brady boy okay so one two three four five five Probably gonna say six because we have a time warp. Uh, white, we have one, two, three, four, four. Let's say five, six because we have Gideon. And then we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we can go to five there. So now we have nine. So it's like nine, six, six, nine, seven, seven. I don't know. This deck is something else, man. All right, here we go. Hardest of core, have a good class. Have some good classes, buddy. I can also tell. I like. I like that I can tell where people are from based on uh, what they call things. Saying you have to go to uni, you are clearly in uh, somewhere in Europe. I would imagine. Wrong? Oh, dang. It's so aggressive. Australian? Oh, that makes sense, too. That makes sense, too. Yeah. That's basically the same thing. Um, You know what? I'm going to keep this hand. If we can hit any of the two walls, natural ought to be doing some work here. Wow. You're Australian. I just called you European. So I'm. I feel. I feel terrible about my choice, my 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 mistake. I guess that's true. Europe seemed didn't seem unlikely. Yeah, because they'd be like he'd be like, oh, like twelve o'clock there. So, that does make sense. Anything not oh six is victory. I agree. This deck is not. Uh, it's something, guys. You really you really did a number on us. It's your boy. Well, next time we can just play a Revel Arc. That was rude. Huh. I really don't want to play a Revel Arc and have them just be like, I'm going to bounce this, dude. Forsake the Worldly. Watching the YouTube video earlier where you and Rob discussed the Mythic Championship and thought you guys were spot on. Yeah, it's just that I... I... Well, we've drawn two, both of the cards that we want to natural order into, so... 
I'm actually going to crack this and play this, I guess. And they're going to be like, no, Mystic Confluence, draw two. And I'm going to be like, oh, no. Wow. Mistakes were made. It's like I can predict the card, but I don't play around the card I predict because I really don't believe I'm right. I don't, I'm like, there's no way they have that, so I'm not going to attack first, and I'm not going to keep my blue up so I can replay it, because it's not true. It's not a card they actually have. I feel like they're terrified of this Terramander, I don't understand. They're Terramanderfied. That's pretty good, right? Do we have any spells with such time warp or natural order? I think we have... While wow, there's hard cast a force of will on this overgrown battlement. Well, that's something. Is this the third time they've bounced this guy? <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. Well, this is something. Now we can cast this, because if we if it dies, we just get both of these guys back. Both of these jabronis back. Which is not terrible. This seems like a good a good option here, unless they counter it with okay. All the dancers in your What they could do is use Gideon to kill this and then like wrath the board so then we only get the three threes. I guess Cyclonic Rift. I feel like they're doing the exact thing that we said they would do. Gideon on Revelark, followed by nothing. Okay, that was that was not what I expected. Gideon and Gideon. Actually, we could just play Horner Queen. Maybe we just win with Crater Hoof. I don't know. It's the next card's a land. Maybe. But they have four cards in hand. Like, they get to keep a Worm Coil, so they're gaining 12 life here, so they're going up to 32. Gideon's still alive, so whatever we do, we have to attack Gideon with Crater Hoof, which is pretty terrible. So, I mean, like, despite the fact they're both at 20, the board state's pretty miserable.
Problem is we don't really have much to do otherwise. I don't want the black because they're not playing a ton of creatures, so things like Damnation or Living Death or Cavalier are not ideal. I will keep this sand. I like it. Mike's dad should be good here. What does this even mean? Who is Mike's dad? We're going to leave the Celestial Colonnade here. Remember when we could have had a Tithe Taker? Those were the days. Was Thrun Mike's dad? I mean, Thrun just could literally win us this game, to be quite honest. Oh, it's your boy. Oh, we're just going to play Monolith here, right? Or we could play both of these. I mean, I'm just going to draw a card, though. Um... play monolith for now did mike's dad seriously leave him and his mom or is it just me mike has mike's dad uh left when he was very young yes but it has also become a meme so yes to both really thank you Badger, thank you so much for the 15 months, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. I need a hero. I don't know how you beat this throne, I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Gonna do a thing? Council's judgment. I guess we figured out how they're gonna beat Thrun. Seems good. Yep, that's amazing. <laughs> oh Jesus. God, they really never don't have it, do they? We'll take the Revel Arc and get rid of four lands. Three lands. Seems good. Turns out I'm half man, half skeleton. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Stuff, I guess. Okay. I like it. Um, put on top. Put on top. Hmm. 
All right, let's see what they're going to do here. Fractured identity. Oh, God. It's getting real old. Well, Teferi is fucking miserable, and uh, I'm glad that was printed. Glad they put it in the cube, too, because... If there's anything I if there's any if there's one thing I like it's more miserable cards in the cube that are no, not fun in any format really. Oh, you're done. Okay. Well, I'm sure you got another board wipe or a Yep. Everybody's having a good time with Teferi. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fine. Uh, they upkeeped it because if we play a land, we get another counter. We get another clue, so there's no reason to let us get another clue. Just going to get an island here, I guess. So maybe Tristani's better. I mean, I like now I'm going to be able to crack the clue this turn. That's not my best work, sorry. It's okay, buddy. We all have off days. Uh, okay, so we're going to put this on top and this on top, and we're going to go search for a, a forest, presumably. Well, that's pretty good. Mystic Confluence, I'll counter it and draw two cards. Okay. <laughs> this deck is pretty miserable to play against so far. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We can play five and Gideon. Put on top. this thing. I don't know why. You should enjoy being right at least. You know, maybe. Oh boy. 
cryptic com oh, I assume you're just gonna like snapcast their day of judgment or something Let me know when you guys see the light go out of my eyes. You are so wrong there. I guess that's true. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can get you with this guy. Oh, wow. Hey, we did it. Maybe. <laughs> Counter targets triggered ability. Repeal Teferi. Oh, good lord. Jesus, come on. Uh, oh, Eternal Witness. And Crater Hoof Beam. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Um... Oh, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna be hiding away something here. Um, yeah, I think it's actually Eternal Witness here. Right, we can't activate the Teferi out because you'll go to cast this, but the trigger from Sheldock Isle is still on the stack. So it would be a sorcery at that point. <laughs> Never don't have a counter spell. three right yeah all right well I have nothing to do here boy Teferi is a real a real super cool dude okay prismatic lens not playing Teferi that's fascinating I don't know what's going on here actually this is a very strange match in your hand is Teferi and two other cards Top, top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Nine menus. So five and. Ten menus. How about one of these jobbies? Can you counter this thing? Think about it. Force of Negation Exiling Teferi. Sure. Could play Eternal Witness. If we play Eternal Witness, they have one card in hand? I think we can win this game. If we play Eternal Witness, we can actually keep both up and crew the Sky Sovereign, but also get back. Wait, why did that get exiled? Am I, am I missing something? Oh, if it's counted this way, exile it. Sure, sure. 
Oh, uh, we can't actually sort up the... Oh, we, we can activate Gideon, can't we? Yeah, let's do that. We'll see if that works. Um, maybe just put on this guy. If they want to bounce it, that's fine. They get to bounce like one of them. Their appeal's already in the trash can. If their last card's cryptic command, like, okay, so be it. They played Supreme Verdict, Day of Judgment, Fumigate, Mystic Confluence, Counterspell, and Force of Negation this game. Like, they're just looking for their cryptic command modes. Yep, they're adding the third blue with that. Of course they are. Yep. I don't know, leading with Cryptic seems significantly better. I guess they want to tap our team down or bounce something, so... <laughs> Solid top deck. Gideon. And then they kill uh, Vivian, but then we have Celestial Colony. We also have Eternal Witness to get back, like, Revel Arc, which is pretty nuts. Put on top. Put on top. Let's get back a rebel arc. Uh, natural order can't get anything because we have Hornet Queen. I guess it could get. I mean, it could get um. Uh, behemoth. We're at seven. Can they actually? No, there's no way they're gonna. They can get crater huff, but we actually don't have any any real way to exploit a crater huff. I'm actually surprised we're doing as well as we are. aggressive with one card in hand fascinating uh, put on top and put on top Colony might be lethal, but I don't trust that they don't have something here. I was going to actually play a creature and then activate Sky Sovereign, which would also be lethal. I mean, I have to assume their last card is something, right? I mean, this is also lethal right here, so... I guess if it's a counterspell, this is totally fine. Let's cast this Evoke. No, they they exiled Teferi with uh, with Force of Negation. I mean, they probably drew Snapcaster, so they're gonna Snapcaster and tap tap down our team. Okay, well we have Scavenging Ooze, so that's not an option anymore.
fact or fiction? Gideon. Sure, doesn't matter. Okay, well, we're 1-1. One, one. They have a bunch of countery things and a bunch of... Breitling actually seems pretty good here because we can get... We can just bounce it back to our hand. It doesn't die. What can we take out for a Breitling? Take out the natural order. Natural order seems actually pretty not great in our deck. Yeah, I own on blue, but she costs nine mana and triple white, and we have like seven sources of white. <laughs> I'm not, I, I do not have faith that we're going to be like, also Iona has to resolve at nine mana, which seems almost impossible. Nine isn't that much. Wow. You guys. You guys. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Our odds of hitting a Wall of Blossoms or an Overgrown Battlement are pretty good. Actually, all the almost all the cards we can hit with Charlotte's Agent are great, so. Well, Hoof wins the game on the spot. And it also costs 8 mana, not 9 mana, so significantly different. 8 mana is definitely different than 9 mana. Ugh. Come on, Overgrown Battlement. Sword. Seems good. I'm okay with it. That is true. 8 does not equal 9. That is correct. Well, it's going to be scavenging news. Silver Library is a pretty good one. That's true. When you make infinite mana, it is not different. Okay, okay. Council's Judgment, Swamp, Gear Hulk. Those are good piles. Okay, so they took Island Judgment Gear Hulk. Seems fine. Okay, two cards they can't cast. I'm feeling a little trash and not going to uni. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Ignore your education. Tireless tractor. I would like another green. Of course we took another. Yep, that's good. That is good. Interesting. That is not another green. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Let's crack the clue. It's also not another green, surprisingly. Play this dude. Always a pleasure, Teferi. Always a pleasure. Hmm. 
Did you say you need another forest? How about two double green cards? Okay, well, if that's what you want to give me, I guess. Just be a good person. That is a solid strategy. All right, now our odds of hitting a green card are higher. Not that high, though. Not that high. Put on top. Pay the life. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's warp those times. See if they counter this. All torrential gear hook into a counter spell. Ready? Oh, Mystic Confluence. How nice. Every game. Never don't have that card. Every game. Three out of three. Three out of three. We do have the triple white for Iona. Unfortunately, we can't cast any of the four double green cards in our hands, so. If ever you guys wanted a lesson in why we, uh, why we draft fixing so high, this is it. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, seven. Well, do, 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 do. gonna watch some glorious bastards. Oh, wow, that's rude. Yeah, cool. Yep, they have Torrential Gear Hulk, so there's like nothing we can do. They're going to attack us for six. We play a spell, they counter it with Torrential Gear Hulk. They kill us, so. I had a good time. Got to resolve my spells and play the game of Magic the Gathering with my opponent. And, uh... Two creatures and a Gideon. Apparently that's all you need. Apparently that is all you need. <coughs> wow, that's messed up. Mike B is your inglorious bastard? That is messed up. La cucaracha. One, two. Still not bad. Still not bad. I have to admit, watching you play against that opponent brought on my standard three Teferi PTSD. Yeah, me too. It was extremely not fun. And I hope our opponent feels bad, but they never will. They never will. I like Overgrown Battlement to Wall of Blossoms adding two mana. That's nice. I wish our Verdant Catacomb could get a dual land. However, you guys are monsters. And you didn't let us take the Temple Garden, so. Love, do you? Do you, though? Do you? I'm no Mike B, let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There is definitely some mono black forcing going on. So... Play, uh, let's leave the white up, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. It's got three mana still. Tireless Tracker? Oh, wow. Wow. How does he do that? How does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> You're his dad. Wow. Why? Oh, God. They're just going to wipe the board. Oh, it's just a Chandra. You're going to kill my Tireless Tracker? Yep. Typical, typical Shandy. I think we got Tristani here over Vivian Reed. I think I just want to pressure this Chandra. I appreciate your correcting it to your. That's nice. I mean, we should have waited a turn to play Tireless Tracker, maybe, so we can get the Verdant Catacomb uh, value, but eh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's what I always say. Does he always say that? 
Have you guys ever heard him say, get Mike or Rob to join on Team Viewer, then fight over control of the mouse while drafting? That sounds miserable. Mike is at work and Rob is probably with his family. <sighs> See what we got. Engineer explosives. Go ahead, play that thing. You might as well play it for zero. You can get rid of these four power on the board. That's actually a pretty amazing hit there. Now I can no longer kill your Chandra. That's incredible. That's the that's just in, just incredible. Shell doc, shell doc. All right, that's that's okay. We can we can work with that. Oh, I like a revel arc, but I also like a thrun. Let's go revel arc. I think revel arc has the uh, the higher ceiling here. Hinterland harbor and a worm coil. I gotta go with the worm coil engine. Blue man is great and all, but. What do we got? The Dread Sower, Grismold, the Dread Sower. Three mana for a 3 3, one black green for a troll shaman. Trample. At the beginning of your end step, each player creates a 1 1 green plant creature token. Each player? Whenever a creature token dies, put a 1 1 counter on Grismold, Grismold, the Dread Sower. That guy definitely looks uh, Eldranian, if you will. An Eldranian troll. What do you think? What? Wow! You just wow! That was fantastic. Jesus. Just phenomenal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I guess we're just Hornet Queening here. We also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This costs three. If we had a second blue, we could time warp. I guess we're just gonna Hornet Queen here. And I guess we're just hoping that they don't have, like, uh, I don't know, Sweltering Suns or Damnation. And Hunter's having a good time with the curtain back here. Nickel Bolas. Okay. Well, that's too bad. You got six mana. I'll take two damage, I guess, and then you'll concede the game because of Hornet Queen. Because Hornet Queen is a fair and balanced magic gathering card. I love that they have split second and morph together so you can spend more time explaining stuff to your opponent. <laughs> oh, Christ. Thought Sponge. Here we go, guys. You ready for Thought Sponge? Four mana for a 1-1 one, one with Flash. Okay. Thought Sponge enters the battlefield with a number of 1-1 one, one counters on it equal to the greatest number of cards an opponent has drawn this turn. So if my opponent's drawn three, if one of my commander opponents has drawn three cards... This enters play with three one-one counters. When it dies, draw cards equal to its power. Okay, so wow, you're just so it's basically like, hey, I'm gonna put three counters on this guy, and then when it dies, I'm just gonna draw four, right? And that's pretty cool. Can we begin? Let's begin sidebar. I keep wanting to take this stupid natural order out. Natural, are you stupid? Maybe it's fine though. I don't know. Maybe our deck is fine. Wheel into it. Nice 8-8. Eight, eight. See, you guys thinking... See, you guys are on a different level as far as, uh, like, commander stuff. Because I don't actually... You, your mic is the same way where, like, you guys can just literally think up commander applications immediately. Like, whereas I could probably do that for, like, modern or standard. But, like, for commander, I'm just like, oh, Wheel, Wheel of Fortune, that's a cool card. Yeah, I forgot that's legal. So, like, I just don't even think of these applications and you guys are, like, all over it real quickly. Uh, one, two, three, four... I guess we're just getting rid of forest because we can at least get an island with this and have enough double blue for this guy 
And we're going to draw Celestial Colonnade. Trustani. Not close. Similar but different. That and there's 156 of you guys. That's sure. But like, no, but the specific people I'm mentioning, like, like Bredicus Maximus is a, is a big commander player. So uh, I'm specifically referring to the commander players in general that I know. Because every time I see commander players, they're always very, very uh, I, well educated about the format. Like they know what they're talking about. Whereas like, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I totally forgot about that. That's neat. And it's just funny. It's funny how they're different. They're different skill sets, you know. Okay, well, we're just going to pass here. Going to play a little, uh, little salty boy. I did see Thieving Amalgam. Uh, seven mana for this guy is a lot. Ape Snake is nice, though. I'm a big fan of the Ape Snake. Have you ever walked in on yourself using the restroom? I did once, and it was actually really awkward. I didn't feel good about it. I don't feel good about this Liliana either. Is this the first sponge? Probably. I can't imagine there's another sponge in magic. Run. Huh. Isn't that something? And they got a Liliana too. Would you look at that? One, two, three, four. So they just attack her for four and they sack one Thopter. Like, it's so bad. This is a bad situation, guys. Oh, <laughs> I was here first. Oh, God. All right, yeah, but... So I don't really consider sponge... I don't consider uh, changelings when it comes to other permanents because it's like... Well, then we have Weasel. Uh, then we have... Uh, Bandersnatch. We have Chupacabras. Which is a creature type. Oh, God. It's just, do we just time warp and then not have this? Ugh. Did they not... They didn't tick up last turn? That's pretty sweet. I mean, I guess if we can hit a wall, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, we did not hit a wall. So you might say we actually hit a wall, but not in the Magic the Gathering sense. I was hoping for a wall of blossoms or an overgrown battlement. Thirty mana crater hoof that spawns two crater hoofs when it comes into play. That would be sick. When this creature enters the battlefield, make two copies of it. That's rude. That's exactly what we predicted though. I don't feel bad about it. This is rough. We don't really have a way to deal with Liliana, so we're just going to take an extra turn here, see what we can draw. Revelark? Not terrible. We get a Tristani back. Okay. If only Crater Hoof was a 1 5 instead, or 2 5 instead of a 5 5, right? Am I right, guys? Hey, guys. T. Jesse, are you saying that doubling season is greater than Genesis Wave, which is greater than making it rain ultimates? Is that is that what you're trying to communicate? Oh, 
oh man, I wish Thrun was a was a creature with with that, that I could get back like a like a scavenging ooze or something. That'd be so sick. All right, well, kill. No, not kill. Augur of Bolas. Okay. Do do do. Something good. That's not very good. I guess they're gonna split my split me perms. Well, I guess we keep this in hand, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because they're gonna make us they're not gonna make us discard here. You know what I'm saying, you nerd. <laughs> I do. I do know what you're saying. It's true. Nickel Bolas? Steal my Revel Arc. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, are they one mana shy? Oh, they have Nickel Bolas and they actually miscounted. Ugh, brutal. That's so awkward, dude. Oh, Thrun being null. Wow, so they're just going to like, well, I guess I wasted my two mana. Wow, that was insane. Dr. Horrible, Dr. Horrible. Wow. They were going to windmill slam Nicobolus Planeswalker. And then they did not. Interesting. No plus on Liliana and no... And no downtick. I mean, we know Nicol Wallace is one of the cards. Really? Okay. Wow, this is great for us. One, two, three. Oh, wow, this is great. One, two, put it on you. All right, so if we counter, if we if we if we kill this, we strand their card in hand. Killing uh, Liliana is also favorable. Oh God, I think Liliana's ultimate is worse than. Yeah, we're just gonna have to kill Chandra here. Yeah, we're gonna play the land because if they want to, they're gonna ultimate here presumably. So now we have. <clears throat> I mean, they're gonna have to go Liliana. We know that we know the card is Nicol Bolas because they tried to cast it for eight and they only had seven. I don't think Lily's ult is worse than anything Bolas can do. Bolas can literally steal our Revel Arc, get back P and Kieran Alar for them. Uh, it takes our only surviving creature. They can kill our Sword of Fire. They can gain control. No, they can destroy our Sword of Fire and Ice, which is bad. Yeah, I think Lily's ultimate is it's fine. Like if you want to split my, I have like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten permanents. If you want to switch my permanence, like, if you want to give me five, I'll just keep sword and, like... Because if this dies, we get back Tristani. And if it doesn't die... Then we get to, we get to keep Revel Arc. So it's like... Sure. Oh, really? Did you just top deck, like, Hour of Devastation? Oh, Devil's Play? Sure. Oh, this is just great for us. Yeah, and we're just going face now because two damage versus three damage is fine. And I'd rather just draw the card. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, what you said, I think what you I think what you meant. Uh Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, that's so sad. God, your draws are very good, all things considered. Like, you just had, like, 
three separate ways to deal with Devil's Play, Shiv and Fire, and Liliana to deal with my sorted creatures. That's really sad. But we know you have Nicol Bolas in hand, so I guess that's something. And we just need creature, that's all. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. And we're going to play this to thin out the deck a little bit, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. So there's two lands away still, which is great. That's very good. Uh, let's keep all the green up. Let's get Devil's Play out of there for now. Anything else we care about? No, everything else can be removed at our leisure. <clears throat> Alright, so they're going to play... Oh god, here we go. Batterskull. It's actually okay. There's three creatures in the graveyard, so like we can make this guy really sizable. So uh, You have no creatures in your graveyard, so I'm just going to get rid of Thrun. Uh, and Tristani. Actually, we'll get rid of Revelark here. Because if we draw Eternal Witness, like we can still cast Eternal Witness and Crater Hoof in the same turn, I think. So this is six. They just block, block, but then they bounce one, two, three. They can't do both, so. Uh, let's play Colonnade. Yeah, pass the turn. Oh, uh, I believe there's some cards. I think Tassiger's in the cube. It's not like a there's no Delve theme or anything, but just some Delve cards. I mean, they can equip this guy and attack, which is fine. I could see Gurmag Angler also being in the cube. Our opponent's name is Dr. Awesome, so I have Dr. Horrible stuck in my head. Do you want to do anything here? Oh, we're just going to win the game. That sounds good. Man. Oh man, we're 1 1 with this monstrosity of a deck. What in the earth? <clears throat> Alright, well, let's keep rolling, I guess. Sounds fine. We don't have a white source, but we got a Prime Speaker Vanifar. What what more can you ask for than a Oh Murderous Cut too? Yes, yeah, so we should probably do next selling cards, but I mean the thing is they can cast, they have nothing to do with their mana on their turns. They had one Nicol Bolas in hand and six free mana every turn. So like they could just cast Tassiger, they can just cast Murderous Cut. So I mean, like we're I mean obviously they can cast Tassiger and activate it, so we probably should have just been exiling, but Whatever, man. We won the game. Obviously, that means we played flawlessly. I mean, if we can go Prime Speaker into Natural Order into Behemoth, like... <clears throat> also, if you guys haven't done so, definitely check out the article uh, that went up on CoolStuffInc.com last week. It is about the unexpected standouts of Modern Horizons. So not like the Renin Six, not like uh, you know Force of Negation, not, nothing like that. All the cards that like people were not really talking about, and then, and then all the cards that made impacts on Modern without really uh, being super obvious. 
So go check it out. Use promo code Frank5 on Cool Stuff Inc. and you can get 5% off. And leave a comment on the article. I appreciate it a ton. And uh, it looks good for uh, for engagement. And then you can let me know what you guys think. Uh, opt and impulse. I feel like we're gonna get Splinter Twinned here. I wish this Verdant Catacombs got more than just a forest. I comment on the article because I do what Frank tells me. That's true. JT, who are you on the article? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who even are you, man? Yeah, we're just going to play this so we can die. So they can go Pestermite into Splinter Twin and kill us. Eh, here we go. Oh, fascinating. Everyone asks him, who are you, but never how are you? Listen, listen, buddy. I don't care how he is, okay? What? They didn't do anything, so I have to make sure I don't skip my whole turn here. That was a. That was an utter shock. None of your business. There's like, dude. There's like ten comments. I can figure it out. I know f six of them. Okay, you're 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 having a we're having a good time. Stay out of my life. <laughs> oh God, why are you like this? <clears throat> we don't have any inst destroy enchantment creatures, unfortunately. All of our enchantment creatures are... They are not in our deck. Alright, here we go. Let's try again. Third time's a charm. Man, three three counterspell decks in a row, huh? Good times. Fantastic. Munitions expert? Is that the most important addition to modern? Is that the most important munition to modern? No, I guess not. Guess you got me again. It's okay, Frank. They're three for three. It's only a three for three. It's not even a real. Okay, well. Let's play a big fat boat. Oh, I'm going to counter this one, too. Oh, God. Did you ever just want to shoot yourself in the head? Two... Too soon. Not funny. Sorry. I don't want to make any gun jokes right now. Not even in not even in jest, because that's all they'd be, I guess. That is really awkward. I'm just gonna stop talking now. One, two, three, four, five. How about this one? You got a counter spell for this one too? Yep. Five counter spells so far. Fantastic. Who's having a good time? Who's having a real blast? Well, oh, worm coil is pretty nice. When Dex do this, I just end up holding out. Yeah, because it's just it's just super obnoxious. Like they're not doing anything. Like eventually something's gonna stick, right? Right, guys. Guys, right? Who? Let's play this. Let's see if that zest does this resolve? Because this is a sweet two for one. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. What are you getting? Harmonized? Vivian Reed? Vivian Reed's probably just better than Harmonized, right? Plus, it doesn't look suspicious when we don't play Vivian Reed this turn. Hmm. Yeah, you cycle that sweltering suns. My legs fell asleep playing Spider-Man, so I <laughs> had to stop. God, Spider-Man's a good game, dude. Oh, John, now I know. This is great news, buddy. This is great news. All right, well, I'm just going to cast this. I'm going to cast this now, because if you have a counterspell... Wait, what? Oh, I'm so bad at this game. 
Uh, I looked at my library when I was casting this, so the cards were still... It doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt anybody. No one's getting hurt by that. There's no way your last card's a counterspell, right? No, no possible way. Hornet Queen. Hornet Queen. I'm sharing the when is Melissa coming? I considering we've we have not been together for over three three and a half years. Uh, I don't probably probably not no, no time soon. Let's put it that way. All right, let's try this again. Michael probably be on the stream tomorrow, actually. Boom, 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 boom. Can we just crater hoof here? When is it here for? I don't know, man. Is this good? You got one card in hand. You counted everything I did, but once you run out of counter spells. But da 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 da. I should move back to Washington. Do, buddy, I, I miss Washington tremendously. And I'm also disappointed still that you and I have never gotten together while I was in Washington. Wow, they countered like the, the first six of our spells and then did nothing. Good times. Good times. How is our deck doing this well? I don't understand. Yeah, I've been in Florida for three years now. Uh, but also I'm from Florida. So I moved back in 2017. So, I think I got back to the game right when you moved. I moved at the at the end of 2016, so I got back to Florida in the beginning of 2017, like January 2017. So, it's doing well because we drafts. I'm in I'm in the around the, I'm around the Tampa area. You can tell I'm from Florida. You can tell I'm from Florida, and I have parents that are from Jersey. Um, because I say Florida and orange, like A R A N G E, and F L A R I D A, Florida and orange. Are you from Florida? No, I'm from Florida. Florida. You get it. You get it. Forever Slane, where are you? Uh, where in Florida yet, buddy? Um, Brightling, Brumaz. Orlando, that's pretty close. Am I invited for tomorrow's stream? Michael Barbablyboo, you're always invited. I'm moving to Florida in March. Buddy, it's August. You already missed it. March already happened. I kind of like Brumaz here. I like Brumaz over Vanifar, I think. Florida. Hey, you guys, uh, you guys, you guys ever been to Florida? Florida orange pajamas. Jamas. Uh, you know what? I'll keep it because harmonize. We got sword. Uh, I'll deal with it. I mean, next year. Thanks for keeping my count. Yeah, but hey, buddy, I'm looking out for you. I just want to make sure you don't miss your move. When it when it gets closer to March next year, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be sure to remind you. Hey, Jeeves, don't forget your move, buddy. It's coming up. It's February. Can I come swing down and can you show me the Disney the Disney World? Take me to the Disney World. Um, I like that you said swing down, and it's probably the result of playing Spider-Man, so. <clears throat> Lousy smart weather. What is that? Is that just gotta be a Simpsons reference, right? 
Tampa has Bush Gardens. They had Adventure Island. I don't actually know if Adventure Island is still here. But, like, Orlando is literally, like, an hour, an hour and a half away from me. So, like, if you want to go to Universal Studios or Disney or Wizarding World of Harry Potter that we just called Harry Potter World, uh, then it's super, like, it's just right there. It's not like he can walk with his leg that is asleep. That's a that's a true story. Oh, biscuits. Buttery biscuits. Hmm, sort of fire and ice against the red blue deck. Seems good. Seems solid. Creatures are also good. Remember not to cast harmonize. I'm a fan of this advice. I collect a lot I do collect a lot of mics. Land. Not a land, okay. I see. Well, we had a good run. I should have I should have equipped this, but Can I be handsome, Mike? <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to discard the double blue card for obvious reasons. At least I hope they're obvious reasons. What are the reasons? Well, you see, Thanos. I have no blue sources of mana. Okay, that's, yep, yeah, that's pretty good. So we've missed, what, six, five land drops, four land drops so far? Yep, okay. Hissing Mike? Because <laughs> you're a magic pot? Because that's pretty funny. All right, I'm just going to submit again, because I think our deck is fine. Whenever you draw more than two lands. Boom, 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 I'm going to keep this. I'm probably also going to get an island just so our this comes in play untapped. And we can play this guy on turn one. I think our likelihood of drawing a second uh, forest is a lot higher. Second green source, I should say. Also, we got a double white card. So... Why not equip the sword? I literally said I should have equipped the sword. Because magic is hard, guys. What do you want from me? I'm streaming Magic the Gathering. I'm chatting with you guys. I'm telling you how to pronounce Florida. Hunter, Hunter couldn't be barking Mike just because he doesn't really bark. He's a really quiet dog. He's also the best boy. Okay, land, come on, do it. Yep, oh, that's that's great. That's a good one. Another two land, another two land game. That's always fun. Seventeen lands in your deck. Yeah, just draw two every game. It's fine. 
How come you lost your matches? Well, I lost my games specifically because I couldn't draw more than two lands. But, you know, that's life. Specifically Magic the Gathering life, because now they can counter whatever they want, whereas last turn we would have got a free... a free turn to play <coughs> Tireless Tracker. And now we get no such thing. You're just gonna kill this, but this Pateramander? Wow. Aggressive. Aggressive. Very aggressive. Okay. I see. Land. Or, yes, just land. Oh, let's do this. Tireless tractor. It resolved and we get a clue. So it's not horrors, right? Non horrors. Why aren't you a worm horror? You are hor you are horrifying. I love to play magic, but I hate when other people play. That's that's not true. That does. I don't feel like that describes you at all for some reason. Tireless tractor and tireless tracker. What a time to be alive. Okay, so rebel, rebel. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. So we can play Gideon here, which is actually not terrible. Could just play Thrun, too. I mean, they get to bounce it, but they haven't actually played anything bounceable yet. I have one red. Seems fine. I mean, I'll waste a clue just to get rid of a Narset here. And if we don't get rid of a Narset, then we get to kill... the thing in the ice. Thing in the ice. Yeah, this is fine. Thing in the ice seems like a pretty solid win condition for them. And then we just get to play Basalt Monolith. All right, well, I think you have an impulse from last turn. Let's see. Do I have a favorite creature type? I don't think so, actually. Matt Rileyson? Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Just fantastic. Do you bounce the tireless tracker? Sure. I mean, we get to attack with... That's actually pretty good. I'm fine with this. I ain't, I ain't scared. So we can go one, two, three. Play tracker, play horizon canopy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is what we're doing. We're going like this for tracker. Land. One, white, blue, nope, not like that. Blue, activate you. And we'll just kill Jace. I can't imagine you have a... Do you have a favorite Jace type? It would be the uh, the Mind Sculptor. That is my favorite Jace. Pop these graveyards out. Uh, 
Wow. That's rude. Vivian Reed one time. Just give me that Vivian Reed. That's not a Vivian. I feel like they're just going to counter this. They have four cards, one is impulse. Yeah, they're just holding things up. I feel like we were in a great spot and now we're in a bad spot. Yep. Ugh, this is annoying. I will take three. Can I have lands? Feels incorrect to play your land post combat when you have a tireless tracker. Alright, this is interesting. I'm intrigued by all the things that are happening here. Card is really annoying. Two, three, four, five. to command bounce the colonnade draw a card please be wearing a dress next time when Rob comes over his brain will explode that'd be actually hilarious hey buddy welcome back good seeing you just want to get something put on a little something more comfortable I have three cards Ugh, them stealing this was actually pretty pretty crucial. I think that's going to be the... I really have no desire to just attack Narset, but we have so many cards that let us draw a card, so... Really? Why would you do this? I cannot believe you've done this. You're going to Cryptic Command? Oh, Lord. Hoisted by our own tireless tracker petard. Uh, we did not crack a clue, that is correct. Yep, that's a good one, too. Uh, let's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God, we're so close to just being able to cast two things. Yeah, so we basically lost the first game, the second game, because uh, we could not draw lands. And the third game was a game. So. We can't crack a clue because they have Narset out, guys. <laughs> Narset is in play. We cannot draw a second card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
Uh, I don't I don't care about things being countered. I care about having answers for these things. We're going to play Throne. We're just trying to play both things first. And I'd rather play this, so if they have like a mana leak, we can get around it. Follow it up with Throne. But... Yep, that is fine. That's gone, so now we can play Thrun. One, two, three, four. We're going to take eight here and go to two, which feels bad. Actually, they crack this, we take nine. We just might have to block here. Oh, they did not crack their land or their clue. Surprise. Yep, we're blocking this guy, like you do. Because otherwise they can literally go crack a clue, we take eight. Yep, crack this, we take nine. And if they played another land, we could they could have actually threatened lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Interesting. Brim has. And let's see if you got a counter for this. Oh, you don't. Which end of tap. That's interesting. I'm fascinated. Oh, boy. Oh wow, that's very good. Oh, we should have went face because they can't block both, right? So if we go face, we get to also, we can't draw the card. That, yes, we can, because Narset would be dead. Oh, that was so bad. I just wanted to make sure Narset was dead, but. I don't know. Brumaz with... Brumaz with pro-red and pro-blue against the red-blue deck. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> Come on. Jesus. That's brutal. That's... That's vomitous. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. Do we have anything that gains life? Tristani? Crater Hoof would be decent. Yeah. Verdant Cattle Combs. Three, huh? So I think we go face here. They block a soldier. We deal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to Chandra. Yep, that's not good. Can we just go face the whole time? I don't know what's going on here. The lifelink in the Chandra when we're at four is just brutal. I feel like we're at a, a point where we can crack this. Let's see what we hit. One, two, 
three, four, five, activate, maybe. Well, that's something. All right. I guess. There's no way we can kill Chandra here. They block here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna have to go your face. Chandra, Chandra. It's all just face, right? The Chandra's irrelevant. We get like one turn here. Seems fine. Okay, so if we tap this and this, we go to three, Chandra's gonna deal us two. If they have any burn spell, then we're dead. But like the one damage probably isn't gonna kill us anyway. And we could use the extra looks for sure. Any burn spell is going to kill us anyway. So what are we looking for? Like Crater Hoof Behemoth. Then they whiffed. Okay, that's good. They're digging here. That's a good sign. Unless they hit like lightning bolt. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what's happening right now? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Wait, what? I don't understand what the thing that's happening at this juncture. Uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't know anything. Natural order into crater hoof seas? I don't know if that wins us the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, uh, okay. So we're going to activate this. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, natural order. I mean, I don't think this is going to do anything, right? But maybe.
Yeah, the horizon canopy forcing us to use this is pretty bad. Go to your face. And they can't bounce this guy, so they're taking 9, 10. Eh, they're going to block here and bounce the crater hoof. Sure. I mean, it is what it is. We we, we, we did our best with what we had. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They're going to gain 4. Yep, that's pretty bad. If only I could gain life with my... Yeah, Canopy literally killed us. Yep. Because then we'd... Yeah, this this game would have been over. And there's nothing we can do in our upkeep, right? Cool. We tried. Draft was still fun. I mean, I wish I could play more games that I actually got to interact with rather than get stuck on two lands, but... Magic the Gathering... Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, though, uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at coolstuffinc.com, manatraders.com. And uh, thank you also for the stipulation. Danny, really appreciated it. Uh, Twitch Plays Magic is always a blast. Uh, it's probably one of the funnier stipulations that we do. And uh, surprisingly, that draft uh, worked out kind of well. You know, I think, I think we went one, two, but nonetheless, like... We went 1-2, and we also just barely lost the last round. I bet there's one... Uh, there's got to be different plays we could have made in the last round that, that would have changed the outcome. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.